<laughs> so what? What snakes with coronavirus? Okay, so yeah, pretty much we covered everything, and we all agree that it's just all. Yes. Yeah, we can do a little roundabout carousel while we talk about our final thoughts on it. Okay, Paulina, what are your final thoughts? Um, I just don't agree. I think empowerment is a buzzword right now, and women are going to throw that into everything to get you go. Oh yeah, empowerment. And I just don't agree with it. I don't agree with the women's march. They're not, like I said, they're not marching for anything new. Um, so I'm just, I think empowerment comes from within. Um, this is my final thought. I think empowerment comes from within. When I feel empowered or whatever is when I set a goal and I do it. And then I feel, I don't need other people cheering me on. <laughs> I don't need that. Um, but I just... I feel in this day and age, it, it just seems so ridiculous to me in the year 2020 that you're still talking about equal rights and equal this and that. It this just seems ridiculous to me. Um, on the, but then on the other hand, I don't want to go back to the 50s where men were, were stuck at home and stuck in the kitchen and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to go back to that either. <laughs> Keep like, it as it is right now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good right now the way it is right now. So those are my final thoughts. Um peaches well i kind of like uh my 50s uh ways <laughs> i i like being the stay home mom and you know i never i mean i've worked outside of the house i never really liked it i i i i like being a woman um the whole empowerment i i am um, no those women who march don't march for me they don't represent me and empowerment does come from within. It's inside you. It's your strength. And yeah, I, I like to have the girlfriends go, yeah, you know, when I do it myself, I do like that. So I, in my position and how my world is right now, I'm okay with it. So no, they don't represent me and I'm not spending a thousand dollars to go to no dang convention. Make talk to you about your tattoos and your barren wounds. <laughs> yeah, you yourself. only had one child. Yeah, well, how <laughs> dare I? <laughs> Basically, a man. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I had more, but I put them in the pond. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Not a sack. laughs> Doctor Worm. Uh, okay, I wasn't thinking about what I should say that whole time. Um, I would say that this whole. Both the 22 Convention and the Women's March are both polar opposites, but they both represent this kind of dangerous, uh, I don't want to say attack, this, this sort of dangerous shift on our ideas of femininity and women's kind of rights and stuff like that. Because on one hand, you have one that's trying to cement it with the way that the man thinks it should be, and then you have another one where it's ultra women trying to completely take over the men's things with women's, like, you know, mm -hmm. with their own yeah. people. And, no, uh, I, I get it. Get that? Yeah. Yeah. And so both of those are dangerous because we should just keep it as we are right now. I mean, like, there's a long struggle for women's rights and we got them. Cool. I can vote. Sweet. But, like... And wear pants and have pockets in my dresses. I wear... I got two <laughs> legs. <laughs> right? And, uh... <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to say, but, like, <laughs> just both of these. And I also think that, yes, we can look more about more social issues and maybe there should be more attention drawn to certain things. But this right here is not a good way of going about it on either side, you know? And it's not going to make a change. I'll just say that right now. None of, well, neither of these things is going to make a change because they're so polarizing and they're not trying to help anything. They're just trying to start trouble. The 22 convention maybe seem like they want to help things, but they're doing it so tongue-in-cheek kind of satire way of saying it, right? Like, they're, they're both of them are going to damage things more, I would say. Like, I would go to the 22 convention just to be like, oh, God, really? Here, I'll, I'll go in a dress and I'll carry, like, a big pickle jar around. Can you, sir, can you open this piece? Right? <laughs> well, you know what? You made sense, Doc, in the fact that maybe women have turned our men into this where 
they just want us to be women again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that, that they're afraid of us. Maybe they're beginning to be afraid of women because of our attitudes, of, I can, of, of the snappiness, of the, I'm just as equal. And I can see that. I can see, I, I can see the point that they're trying to make with this. But it's just going about it the wrong way. Exactly. I think so. Yes. To have it like such language like this, like they're not even trying to make it seem like there is even a woman involved with the creation. It's all just like I said, these twenty year old dudes trying to grow beards sitting around a big table saying, Hee hee, this would be cool if we did this, right? <laughs> and that's basically what it is. And these women are all standing around growing their beards, going, Hey, it'd be cool if we did this. So we're gonna teach those men a lesson, right? And that's what it is. Excuse me, it's a mustache, not a beard. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Upper lip hair. I got my sideburns growing. Can you tell no. Me? no. I'm going to be curious. I'm going to keep an eye on this because I'm, I'm curious to see how many people actually show up to this. To both of yes. these. Yeah. So, um, yeah, those are your final thoughts? I would say that's my final thoughts. Final thoughts? Final thoughts. I'll take any excuse to talk more, though. No, I think... <laughs> We ran over a little bit today than I wanted, but that's okay because sometimes when you just get rolling, you just get rolling. So that's it. That's this is all. That's this is all this miss. Um, as you can see, we all have different viewpoints, but we all come together. Um, whether you agree or disagree with us, I hope you enjoyed the podcast, and we'll be back every week with a different topic. And you know, I guess that's it. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.